I've been a 3D artist for a long time now. And you might be surprised to hear that when I started, I was earning pennies. I'd slave away on projects just for the exposure and my total revenue from five years of 3D work totaled to a whopping $1,100. And $50. Not only was this dot profitable, but it wasn't sustainable. Fast forward to today, and a lot of things have changed. I quit my full time job, I have more than 10x my income with 3D, and most importantly, I'm actually happy. I know, right? Great for you, Smith. But how did we get here? My expectations of what becoming a 3D artist looked like was working on awesome projects, getting a killer job in the industry, and hanging out with loads of incredible artists and colleagues. <sighs> well, I was dead wrong. The truth is, when you're starting your journey as a 3D artist, you're going to find that it's lonely, hard, and oftentimes very challenging. When I was starting my own journey as a young Smith, like you, there wasn't many resources to look to when asking, how do I make money with Blender? That's why I wanted to make this unfiltered small video to cover the main ways that I make money utilizing Blender. I'm going to cover everything, give you my POV, and show you the revenue that these methods provide me. Now this isn't to boast or flex, it's to show aspiring artists like yourself that you can make money doing what you love and have fun while you're doing it. Excuse me, sir? I'm looking for a job. This was my first foray into making money with Blender, and it's most likely going to be the same for yourself. This type of work can range anywhere from $50 all the way up to $20,000 and more per project. It all depends on your body of work, your knowledge of the industry and software, and most importantly, your mindset. Let me tell you, I got absolutely destroyed in this department simply due to the fact that I didn't understand the difference between cost price and value. But once I understood this, I was able to start charging upwards of 3000 and more for every single project. Okay, so let's talk money. I'm only gonna talk on the paid jobs because there was a lot that I did for free. My first paid freelance project. I was tasked with creating 3D product renters for beer snorkels, which if you don't know, so as this was my first gig, I had no clue on how to price my work and also how to make a contract for my work. I was basically using the trust and honesty system to get paid. So I ended up making roughly 20 product renders and the total for this project was $50. This one was a gym brand and it was actually a recurring client from previous work that I did. I was tasked with a few different jobs, basically some product renders of a portable gym blender, some clothing renders, and even actually the logo of the brand itself. And the total for this job came out to be $650. This is where I started delving into TV commercials. The client's budget was super low and they ended up paying me $300 for a 16 second ad. For this project, I was tasked with creating a 30 to 40 second advertisement for a mechanical keyboard. So the budget for this was $3,000 and I learned a ton while doing this project. So it was definitely worth the effort. All in all, freelance is a fantastic way to make money when you're just starting out with Blender. And now let's move on to my second method. Let's get into this beast and maybe squish some of the misconceptions you may have. Essentially, Skillshare is a curated platform for educational learning. All of the classes on Skillshare are produced by teachers like me, and we get paid monthly depending on how our classes perform for that month. You don't need any qualifications, no background checks. You can literally upload a class today for free and start earning money. Here's my teacher dashboard, and you can see a few interesting metrics. First off, we have the total amount earned, and as it stands, it's at $11,513. It's also important to understand that this metric is in the United States dollar. So for me in Australia, that's closer to nearly $20,000. Pretty good. You can see that I've been on the platform since May of 2021, and each month has slowly but surely increased in viewership and earnings. This is because I've created multiple classes on the Skillshare platform, and as they've gained popularity, Skillshare is pushing this out to a wider audience. 
So the way you actually get paid here on Skillshare is through minutes watched. So the more minutes watched in a particular month, the more your potential earnings are going to increase. This is probably my favorite way of making money with Blender right now because I can create content that's a little bit more laid back and Skillshare does all the marketing for you. So you literally don't have to do anything after you hit publish. And now let's move on to the final method. What kind of angle is this? Oh my this is my most active form of income right now. And I understand that this is not for everyone. Trust me. But with that said, I think a lot of people are sleeping on the idea of creating a small YouTube channel. I think the main value from creating a YouTube channel, Blender related or not, is the sheer amount of audience and reach that YouTube has. There's no other platform quite like this with evergreen search compatible videos. So as long as the world is still spinning and the internet is still running, you're gonna be able to teach Blender and monetize your Blender content for years and years to come. Oh, and not to mention the countless other aspects of fostering a community around your brand and persona like you guys in the premiere. So with that said, let's dive into my analytics and cover the potential earnings that you could be making by teaching Blender on YouTube. All right, here in my analytics, I've set the date range to be the beginning of my channel back in January of 2021, all the way till now. And you can see something very interesting. When I started, I was posting videos all over the place, sometimes months apart, as I had no idea what I was doing. Fast forward to now, and you can see there are consistent uploads and a massive spike in viewership. This is simply due to me starting to take YouTube more seriously and putting way more effort into my content. So now let's switch to ad revenue. I got monetized on the 1st of July, 2022. And there's two important metrics here. We've got the CPM and the RPM. Basically, this is how much an advertiser pays to put an ad on my video. And this is how much I get paid for every 1000 views of that ad. So keep in mind, that doesn't mean every thousand views on this video. It means every thousand monetized views of the ad. Right, so the first few weeks I was earning about eight to $10 a day. And with each upload, you can see a bit of a spike in revenue, simply due to more views coming in. The most in a singular day that I've made is $70.33, that is crazy. So if we come down to the monthly estimates, you can see a bit of a pattern here. Each month has been increasing in value and we're only in the middle of October right now. So this month could easily surpass the $1,000 mark. Now the total for roughly four months of monetization, it's sitting at $2,644. So I think it's super important to reflect and say that this is not a large data set. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out over the next six to 12 months. So obviously this is just a few ways that you can start earning money with Blender and actually start curating a life that you enjoy living. But if you really want to start making money with Blender, I highly recommend checking out this video right here.